in the off lane, uh, Slark's going to get punished. If the enchant ganks can be really good from solo, then Vega could open this game up. He, he's got the ensnare as well to net. So I feel like this is going to be an okay lane for Alliance. They're going to send up solo. He's got the smoke of the seat gank at the ready. And it looks like he might be able to wrap around through the tower if they want to be able to push this out. Maybe just go straight through the lane instead. He's going to work his they way behind. Run. He's got the Hellbear as well as the Dark Troll. He's going to run right in. Bulldog might be in trouble. He's going to get the Scorched Earth off. There's going to be the Hellbear smash coming through with the Thunder Pepper. The pounce is up as well. He pops the Fairy Fire, but it's going to be the first bullet coming up from Cena. Solo's going to fall into the tower here. He's trying to use his nature's to to heal up. But here comes more right clicks. Pasha has got the essence shift, but he's taking a lot of tower hits. Kinetic Field flies through. He actually gets caught. Now he uses the Fairy Fire, but another Hellbear Thunderclap comes in. Two dead. They will lose Solo, but Cena is going to be caught out. Maybe he's actually going to. Just be able to get away from the tower hits. He's gonna eat a tango as well and be fine. Boy, different ones. Yeah, so uh, I really. Where can you give me? Give me some. Uh, well, this one on the top lane here, protecting the safe lane. This is a. It's called a silver. The one. It's like literally the most basic tower. And uh, this other one placed on the mid lane. This is a uranium 235. It is a advanced tower, but not as powerful as the one that immediately upgrades after it. Both. Both are gem TD wards. I'm really glad that you were able to tell me all Thank this. Thank you. That was just. A, a lot of information. EGM's gonna find out solo. He's actually gonna get caught in a bad spot. The Delphine is fly. S4 is about to come in. He's got Sonic Wave. The roar will come out though. Notice Static Storm available. They already bring out EGM. They use the user because the shock was coming up from the Steady Tormentor. S4 will blink into the river. He's gonna die though. The Thunderstrike as well as the usage of the urn is gonna grab the kill for Seema. That's two quick pickups for Vega. They're gonna wrap around with Seema. They're gonna look for a glimpse. They can't quite find it yet. He's got level three. They get it now. There's gonna be the static from the Thunder Strike as well. Jump in. Shockwave will actually miss, but he's still taking a lot of damage. He's got the Scorch just right. He's gonna pop it off. Oh, he's gonna live. He's gonna stay alive. The impetus almost brought him down, but was not Major enough. Now EGM coming through as well. Telekinesis. It's gonna not hit on no one. Jump in. Oh, oh two. EGM skewer back as well. They're gonna find Ake. They pop with the chain Frost will take some damage, but it's gonna be a double kill for Solo. Big pickup coming out. The blink dagger reveal is successful after a missed gank on Bulldog. He's Bulldog's got to be really frustrated with that because he knew there was a gank going on. They were pushing in top, and they were at tower, and nobody was there. So like, okay, if nobody's top, then that means they're ganking somewhere, right? Or they're roshing, but it's too early to rosh. So that must mean they're ganking bottom. That's why he sat so back so far. And but the problem is that disruptor with glimpse just he increases your gank possibilities by so much. All he has to get is within range and then comes back as well. There's call down. He's going to get Sonic Wave. They're going to jump in. They're going to get Solo as well. The call down came through. He's going to get doomed up. He's losing damage to S4, but still, the Infernal Blade will come out and Loda will get the last right click. But I believe, or maybe he was the one that pinked out. I don't think he broke the smoke. And they're looking for S4. Can they find him? It's nighttime. They don't have the best vision. They're going to walk up high ground. They're going to see an illusion. They, they're going to RP it, but they don't know that it's not the <gasps> real one. Oh. He's going to blink away. It, it just broke the smoke coming through. I, that, I think he, he it, did push the RP animation. But the Jumping Solo's going to come out. They're going to get the Sonic Wave off. He's got a quick the Chain Frost. They'll find a kill. That's a lot. Of, it's just for a Chantress, but still. It's just farming. Nope. We transitioned into a push now for Alliance. So they're going to take down the top tier one towers to provide Loda. Uh, actually, he's just picked up the casual songs and now Radiant's he's going for the Ogre Club. It looks like he will attack. inevitably go for the BKB first instead of getting the full. Oh, he jumps in. There's going to be the usage of the Magnus on B. They get the oh, speed back to the static store. And that's four as well as Loda are going to fall. Great initiation coming out. Now Adam the Bulldog on the run. He'll try to take it away. Put the glimpse back. We'll catch him. And he's in trouble. He's got plenty of moves. He's slowed up by the enchant. There's the jump with the pounce. And they'll find the kill. Bulldog will fall and so will two others from lines. All three cores are dead. Man. Vega, great initiation. They got way overconfident there due to the Primal Roar being on cooldown. They're like, oh, this is fine. We got two kills. We're going to find a couple of heroes as well. Seema the Slayer as well. So we're going to get caught. There's going to be the oh. usage of... The Scream of Pain, jump with the Shadow Strike, they get off the Infernal Blade, he gets forced out by no one, the Magnet, they'll jump in another Scream of Pain coming up from S4, they pop the Shockwave up, they don't really want to fight now, jump and skewer back, they get the roar on S4 as well, the Axe is coming through, they pop in the next three, they get off the Static Storm, hits no one, but Loda's going to come in with a call down, Mag will be the first to fall, and they'll pick up the Necro units as well, Solo's about to go down, the Scream of Pain will provide them the kill, Nine Plash is getting chased down as well, this is going to be the fight for Alliance, because now they get the glimpse back as well, stolen by EGM, Telekinesis is such beautifully done for the Alliance, they'll get three of their own he gets kind of wrecked there um rp misses but they do get two kills and they pressure the towers a bit more oh god these impetus hits are insane jump in infernal blade Pasha's gonna get caught he pops the shadow blade he's got the shadow against as well they drop the static so it's destroying bulldog they have to use up load of trailer he's gonna pop the rock side for the call down we'll go to where he takes solo down they take Pasha. the chain frog and ake will get himself a double kill as loda comes in to save the day Sioma's gonna get caught he's gonna take it back on the sentry is there but they have no disables to bring him down. They lose Bulldog. S4 somehow survives with 50 HP now top lane. EGM looking for the jump. He's going to get the huge uh, 
Roar into Magnum, gets off the Wild Axe as well. They click the kill. I'll die for it. Yeah, it looks like he probably will fall. He's already got the Tier 2 tower, though. He's going to get chased down. The Rocket Prize will come in. They have the Homing Missile as well to take him down. He'll buy out before dying. He gets him a blank tag. He buys the smoke as well. And Moda gets yet another kill. Solo almost has his eggs. He's about 700 gold away. And that'll increase his range and his survivability by a lot. Once they have eggs and the champions, they've got a huge damage attack. source. They just need Slark to attack. They can see Slark, by the way. They might just back up and doom. Like doom him, but the problem is that Admiral Bulldog is the one tanking. Here comes Fox, he's gonna jump into Shadow Blade. He doesn't have to get the right click oh, off. There's gonna be the Doom, the usage of a huge static storm as well as the RP. Doing some massive work. Bulldog's go there. Hasn't let anybody get though. Finally bring down the Rubik. On the other side, Solo is right turning down. Ati again, the support's first to be dead. And Bulldog will fall, but Lodo jumping in, looking for someone, looking for Rock Frost. The Doom will go away. Pasha no longer duped up the Shockwave will fly through. Pasha just continues to go to work and he'll turn his attention to S4. He can't chase up to Lodo. Meanwhile, no one will with the Shockwave. Got screw up in 10 and power's ready to go. That'll take three heroes to two. A great Dyer's trade for Vega again, but they just they can't quite find those cores anymore. And Magus flipped the top lane. He got the tier three tower. The range racks is taking a lot of damage. Lodo will inevitably clear up. Boy. You could stun the enemy carry for almost three seconds. That's amazing. Yeah, the stun from a carry position is pretty big. Yeah, I agree. And even like the little poking that they're gonna do. Oh, you might get this. Lodo's gonna just get jumped on. The roar comes through. They'll pop the necro trees. Got the butterfly. There's the force into a beautiful RP. Dead from on top, which is not even needed. And they get destroyed. Both of those heroes dead for 80 seconds. Lodo, he's got the buyback. Force forward. There's gonna be the use of the Shiva's guard. EGM gets the lift off in time. Mag coming through. Great sonic wave and a two man stone from the lift coming out. But still, it is a oh, three for one exchange, dead. but they'll catch more. Bulldogs can be caught. The MKB damage is real. And Solo <sighs> is heading like a truck on this enchantment. And finally, it's rack time for Vegas getting the victory they needed here. And they might actually take this game. Alliance's win streak is at stake right now. Hey, man, I'm really confused by Alliance's choice to just run the lane like that. Like, I think they were just absolutely sure that Vega went somewhere else. Because, like, they just ran to the lane, man. Loda just ran down that lane all the way there. He, it was like he was chasing somebody, and then all of a sudden there was five heroes, and they were like, Let's just kill him. And they get a 5v2. Team Shark comes out from both teams. There's the Rock Barrage and call down. Solo's in some trouble. They're going to use the flat cannon as well. He's in touch pull. The nature's just tended to healing so much. The untouchable was tough to deal with. Seema's going to back away. Meanwhile, top lane, Shadow Blade, the Sentry. No one's going to get used up. He's got 90 HP. The Scream of Pain will do the job. The last right click, he's still alive, but he's going to finally fall through the skewer coming through. They should have that gem now ready to go, at least on an Ake. Okay, it's not come out just yet. I think it's on the courier. It's finally come through. Now oh, the Tosh is going to get caught up. There's the Shadow Dance going to Big RP. It's going to be on his two. Bulldog is going up as well. He's about to fall. Oh, he's going to put a flank in. Static Storm coming up. The skewer back. Ake is going to fall. Loda gets used to the roar up as well. The second roar as he gets up from the first row. The impetus hits are too much. The triple kill for Pasha, who's already doing so much damage in this team fight. Four dead. Loda's dead for 92. S4 is going to get caught. He'll blink further into the tree line. They've got the vision, the shockwave, the hawk is there. In the last right click, it's gonna be a team wipe. And Vega is moments away. There it is. GG and finally Alliance will drop a game for the first time in some period. Oh, Vega just played that very, very well. Their early game was called. They had some good early game rotations. I mean, Alliance maybe made a couple team fight mistakes, but they were fairly minor. It's just, it's so hard playing against the Slark when you have a Lich and a Rubik. And those early lane rotations that Vega did just absolutely won them the, the early game by a bit edged them out a bit against Alliance and they just couldn't take the team fights late game. Glimpse 